<clears throat> Life is full of disappointment when you have Pinterest dreams and Facebook expectations. <laughs> Nevertheless, I don't think it's too much to ask for a lovely Sunday in May, a lovely first Mother's Day. So I had big expectations, but to be honest, the circumstances were a bit unfair. My first Mother's Day was also the day we were crossing through the wardrobe to the other side. You see, my life had slowly been moving one step closer to the back of the wardrobe. Over the course of four years, we met, moved in, got married, in that order, and then got pregnant. We weren't trying to get pregnant, but we were married, and there were a lot of snow days that winter in Washington, D.C. <laughs> then very quickly, within six months, our son was born. My husband accepted a job in Texas. I went back to work. I had to quit my job. We bought our first house, my husband finished graduate school, and we moved to Texas, in that order. So this lovely Sunday in May was not only my first Mother's Day, but also the day we were flying from D.C. to Texas. Our cars and the moving truck were already on their way, and the closing papers were waiting for us to sign. This was a big day. I woke up that morning at my parents' house, with my husband and my child, but not my parents. Strange, right? We had already moved out of our apartment and were staying at my parents' house until our flight to Texas. But my parents were in Florida, caring for my elderly grandparents. I was an emotional mess, but somehow I got myself and my baby into the car and made it to 9 a.m. Mass at the church that has been my spiritual home my entire life. I don't know how, because I'm sure I couldn't see driving as I was crying the whole way to church. I cried sitting in the pew with my baby, I cried when my dear friend showed up. She asked, what's wrong? I tried to say, it's my first Mother's Day. My mother isn't here, and we're leaving. <laughs> I'm such a jackass. <laughs> Kelly lost her mom when she was a little girl, so she has had many Mother's Days without hers. But she just said, I'm so sorry. She and I love to sing in church together, often badly, but I was more tears than singing that day. We went to brunch at one of our favorite restaurants, where we had our rehearsal dinner just two years prior. My godmother and my sister, our son's godmother, came with us. We were having a godmother's brunch, not a Mother's Day brunch. <laughs> because my mother was not there. She had to be with her mother. So I'm already a hot mess, and basically the meal was lousy. What did I expect on Mother's Day? But the service was terrible. We were seated right next to the kitchen, and nobody liked their food. My godmother was trying to be so cheerful and positive, and my sister was acting like nothing was different. They were both annoying the crap out of me. <laughs> I was no longer weeping, but felt like my heart was going to explode if my head didn't first. And then we went to the airport. At this point, I was just numb. I wasn't ready to get on the plane, but I was ready to get it over. We got to the gate area over an hour before our flight. Our baby had not slept because of the day the way went. I walked and walked and walked with him. He couldn't sleep. He wouldn't sleep. Until they started boarding our flight. Uh -huh. Then he was out like a light. We waited until the end to board, at which point we were refused boarding. In my head, I know what happened next, but I cannot recount the details in mixed company because I was so livid. They were wrong, but we were not getting on that flight. I want you to know that we're not idiots. We fly a lot. At this point, this was our sixth trip with our seven-month-old son, who had his own frequent flyer account, and as a result, regularly receives credit card offers. <laughs> we went to the customer service desk, and they would reroute us through Denver, maybe by Tuesday, and we'd have to fly separately. And the spiteful gate agent had coded our reservation so that we would not receive accommodation for a hotel probably because I was such a peach. <laughs> we left the gate concourse and went back to the main concourse to, I don't know, get an Uber back to my parents' empty house to which we no longer had a key. This was both our situation and a metaphor. We stopped at the ticketing desk and my husband talked to the station manager. I think he knew we got screwed. So we left the airport with a reservation at a nearby hotel and rebooked for the first flight the next morning, nonstop to San Antonio. Miraculous, this was all of a sudden available to us. 
The accommodation was nice, but it would have been better if we were already flying to Texas, like all of our baby gear and luggage. <laughs> it was late by the time we got to the hotel. Once we got checked in, my husband had to get the hotel shuttle to take him to CVS for formula. This was the one time I really wished I was still breastfeeding. He got back, and we gave the baby a bath, and maybe put him back into dirty clothes and put him to sleep. Then he got burgers from the bar downstairs and brought them to the room. For my first Mother's Day, my husband and I had dinner on the bathroom floor of our hotel room at the airport, and I'll leave out the part where he vomited. I think I could have too. That was my first Mother's Day. Not only was it not Pinterest or Facebook worthy, no adorable photos, no bling bling jewelry, not even a keepsake craft. It was so damn ugly. We all have days that bear resemblance to another children's book featuring a certain character named Alexander. And we all have horrible travel stories with United. <laughs> Why did it all have to happen on my first Mother's Day? But I will never forget my first Mother's Day, because it's the day we crossed through the wardrobe. We left our life full of familiar places and faces, but no longer including my mother's, the only one I needed, and crossed into the foreign country that is Texas to face the very real and ugly challenges of learning to be a mother and raising our child far away from our families, but still hoping for snow. <laughs>